Next up, basketball movies. Yeah. Okay. And uh, Hoosiers. I'm, I might come down Hoosiers. hard on you. I'm, for so, this I'm starting Hoosiers. Damn it. Okay, so Love and Basketball, Coach Carter, and Hoosiers. Hoosiers is starting. So I filmed at their gym before. Did you? Yeah, it was pretty cool. Dude, the end of Hoosiers. I love you guys. And I was there with Chris Mullen. Yeah. One of the best shooters yeah. I've ever filmed yeah. with. And I filmed with Steph Curry. But Sick. Chris Sick. Mullen was like lights out. At, at their gym in Indiana? Yeah, at the Sick. Hoosiers gym, yeah. That was that was an awesome, awesome film. Uh, that was They awesome. have the memorabilia like still up as really? well. And you can yeah. go in the locker room and they have different like photos and jerseys and stuff. Yeah, it was pretty right. cool. Yeah. Yeah. Awesome, okay. awesome movie. And um, Okay, so we're starting Hoosiers. What about Love and Basketball Never Watched? Really? Yeah, who is that? Is that like Regina King or something? Who is it? No. I don't know the actors, but I've seen the movie yeah. plenty of times. What are the next two? It's Love, Love and, basketball. and Basketball and Coach and Carter. Coach Carter. Coach Carter. Yeah. No, stop. I'm, I know that you're, you know, more into this movie and television space than me, but if you have not seen Coach Carter. No, I never saw it. I'm sick. Yo, I don't watch movies. That's I don't watch movies. Best, I don't watch TV that's shows. That's the best I don't read basketball books. movie yeah. ever is Coach yeah. Carter. Really? Yes. I guess so. It's a, it's a toss up for you. Yeah, because, because I haven't seen those, but you're giving me a lot of things I have to go like go watch now, you know? So. And people are going to comment under here and be like, I can't believe she picked Coach Carter over Love and Basketball because yeah. Love and Basketball is like, you can't say one bad thing about it or the basketball community comes right. for you. And there's so many lines. Really? Just, oh yeah. And different scenes like from yeah. that movie that Would you get me into still here, bro? reference. Well, these people are going to hate on me because i never seen basketball movies. How but, many times did I get myself canceled today on one podcast, but, bro? It's crazy, <laughs> man. But your son, yes. how old is he again? Six. He might be like a little young, but I feel like Coach Carter, yeah. and like maybe middle school, early high yeah. school, like yeah. just watch it together. Well, he watched me. some of Hussey. He's really into basketball. He thinks okay. he's the best basketball player alive. Yeah. Like, and there's the kind of stuff he says. He's like, I'm the best basketball player around. I'm like, dude, you can't even dribble yet. Yeah, I mean, he's only six years old. But he watched some of Hustle with me because I had to watch yeah. it in two parts. And he was he was digging it. That's and cool. then, uh, but then he decided to go back to his iPad. So I don't know, he didn't stick with it. But yeah, I'll show him Coach Carter cool. at some point. All right, another another basketball. Space Jam, white man can't jump and he got game. Well, again, like I, I've only seen, I never saw Space Jam because I didn't have a kid at the time. But that's a perfect movie to have a kid watch, obviously. Yeah, well, there's a new Space Jam. But, right, with but LeBron. Have right. you seen Michael Jordan? No, Jordan's I haven't seen it because at the time I didn't have a child. Look so at this. I just. I don't recognize her. She's That's in Lola Space Jam. Bunny. Yeah, yeah I, I never saw it, so I don't All right. know. You know, but now that I have a kid, I've gotten to see a lot. I haven't seen Space Jam yet, but I've gotten to see a lot of things, like Moana. Like M Moana, <laughs> I made him like, and I watched so Moana good. after right. I worked with Dwayne, or I would have made him sing that <laughs> song to me. I would have been like, right. oh, please, just one time, one time, <laughs> just sing it," because I watched it after we wrapped ballers, and I'm like, "Yo, this is good." And every time me and my kid would be like, you know, watching a movie, I'm like, "Moana," and he'd be like, "Nah, man, no more Moana." Oh, and I'm just like, "Oh, like I want to watch it, it one more yeah. time," you know. <laughs> but um, yeah, I haven't seen that yet. So, but the other two, obviously, I've seen. I liked White Men Can't Jump, and you know, they're remaking that with Jack Harlow, right? You know. That. Are they? Yeah, it's like Jack Harlow, and who else is doing it? Did you see him in the NBA All Star Celebrity Game? No. No, okay. I didn't. Did he hit a big shot? Yeah, he, uh, I've talked about it before on my podcast. L listen, he scored a lot, but from somebody who played basketball their whole life and then also played Division One, yeah. it's like- Oh, he was a D1 player? No, me. Oh, okay. Yeah, <laughs> so, yeah, I know. Yeah, yeah. I know that about you. Yeah. No, so watching him, it's like, I, I can tell maybe he didn't play no, at I a high level. Basketball. You know yeah. what I mean? So- yeah, I don't even know if he raps at a high level, you know what I mean? So, I mean, I love his music. I'm only I think he's I'm like teased. a great like entertainer. I, yeah. I like him too. There I'm was just teased. like a couple layups in the NBA also. I was like, that's a, you know. I, got to, I think it takes Could some, be a I, listen, <laughs> but I think all. it takes like, you got to have like some moxie to get out there and play in that game, you know I played I mean? in that so, game. You have too? Yeah, 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 twice. Yeah, but you were a D1 I was leading player. scorer of my team, yeah. Yeah, but he wasn't a player. Yeah, but he's a big time celebrity. Yeah. He can. He well, can. Don't you think that's even can, riskier to be a big time? What about these absolute, big time celebrities? Absolutely, it is. Who can't even throw an opening game pitch to the and reach the right. plate? I Guys think that they shouldn't do that. Fifty feet over. I think it's hysterical. If, Guys, you know that's the big thing, and I think we're going to do that. Was it like story. fifty cents? Did like? we do that on Entourage? Because I know we talked about doing it on Entourage, where like you know, do not bounce the ball. 
whatever you do, do not <laughs> bounce the ball. And like yeah. guys can't make it to the plate. Right. And it's just like, oh man, he bounced the ball. It's such a like big deal. But I know we were talking about doing it. I don't know if we ever did it though. It's, it's one of those things I feel like, you know, as a basketball player, obviously I'm going to critique any basketball that I see in entertainment, yeah. Yeah. period. And yeah. I know that, you know, if you're a, a boxer, you're going to critique that in any of the, yeah. the fight movies, you know? So yeah. that's just me being critical. Yeah. You know, High School Musical is one of the, yeah. the most hilarious situations because none of them can hoop. Yeah. None. It's what is awful. it in High School? What? High School Musical. Why? They play basketball in High School yeah, Musical? Yeah, a lot. Yeah. They don't sing? They, they sing and play basketball at the same time. They're like, get your head in oh, the game. And they're, like, you know, dribbling. But they dribble with like a flat hand. Yeah. And so you just, that's not it, you know? Yeah, I don't even know so. how they find people to do half the <laughs> <laughs> What's up guys, it's Rachel Demita. Thank you so much for watching Courtside Club. Make sure that you like, rate, and subscribe to ESPN's YouTube channel and wherever you listen to your podcast. We have new episodes coming to you guys every single week, so stay tuned for that and I'll see you soon.